guys how are we doing today I wanted to come to you and share some important um, things in terms of like how what we use on our hair and our our face uh, where we attach lashes or we attach hair I just pretty much took mine down so I'm all frolicious and everything but um, what I noticed is that uh, the edges of the woman's hair that does like the wig lay down so I had a weave that I I made myself and it had the lace front where I had to put the glue at the I'm gonna have to find a different place to record because that's a lot of noise back here <laughs> okay let me start over I will see you in just a moment okay I'm back it's still a little noisy but they're doing some work so I gotta just get out of the way of the actual loudness of the work so my point was to share with you that I had two things happen that concerned me with the glue um, that I was using so I bought a pair of lashes that had some I guess it's the glue that they use to attach the the lash to in the pack and I use actual hair glue to put my lashes on and I've done this hair glue thing for a long time so it wasn't like a new thing that I was trying but I had irritation like my eyes got irritated to the point of swelling and itching and it was really weird and I was trying to figure out if I've never had this problem before what was the issue so um, the lashes that I'd bought in that I'd bought were new to me. And I don't know if any other ladies have experienced this before. That's why I'm kind of sharing it because um, I had previously seen videos where ladies were talking about the glue irritating their eyes. But I think it just depends on what kind of glue you use, obviously. But the mixture of the hair glue with the lash glue that was already on it was the issue because I have previously purchased lashes without that glue strip on it and not had an issue and also these that I'm wearing today um, have been purchased and don't have that little piece that sticks to you know how they attach it inside the package just these didn't they don't have it they have it but like on the sides and I cut that part off and find they work fine my eyes aren't irritated they aren't sweating uh, they aren't puffy they aren't itchy they aren't irritated by any means and I thought I would have travel because they're a longer thicker kind of lash but my other issue that I just dealt with was at my hairline so I don't know if you can see two different colors and right here I had uh, a pimple that popped up if I could say it that way but it was a painful one so I thought I got bit by a, a, an insect it was like that bad but I had the lace piece here and it would come up like every couple of days where I had to re-glue it and my first glue that I began was this here and I don't remember where I picked this up I believe I picked it up at some hair store I want to say Sally's but I could be wrong there was a, there's a couple of different hair stores that I go to, obviously. But again, this is the one that I started with. And this glue seemed fine to me. Seemed fine. And then, um, let's say a month into, um, it wasn't laying down my hair right, the glue. So I you know, I got tired of having to re-glue it. Um, so I went and bought some got to be glued which is what every lady that I've seen on any video um, no one has recommended this to me specifically I just seen you know the hair videos where they this is the glue they use but upon as I, I think it what I'm assuming was the mixture again a mixture problem I used this I've only had this glue for less than a couple of weeks but what I noticed is that I'd wash out the glue that was on the lace part in the front 
to try to get a new glue stick let it lay it down tie it down do the whole shebang and then just recently like a day or two ago noticed that my hair was on the on the other side of the, the lace front and i didn't look at it like my hair was being pulled out because i didn't feel it so i didn't know you know i just would re-glue it and not care but i decided to take my hair down yesterday and i mean my whole wig situation my whole weavables and my hair was attached to that part of the lace front um little it had been pulling my hair out every time i'd lay it pick it up and lay it back down and that was the issue that was the problem that i'm uh right now commenting on so if you ladies are out there doing your hair and you think that you know you're you're buying a I, and i didn't even look at the the chemicals or anything in the glue i just assumed it was something that would work fine and it laid down it did did its job but it didn't do it i was hoping it would do it for long term but when i noticed that it was pulling my hair out and also creating a small rash and then you can see this color of what can happen when you are doing these hairstyles. the whole idea I was is to be not having it obviously. i mean i'm trying and to keep all the her i got you, you know a girl's trying to do this saved, saved. you know how my hair, hair was not trying to lose no hair i'm trying to be bald i mean but i, just I would really consider if my hair was that jacked up let all you know that cut it all off but you may be using some products do that like that's not even need to the reason i started make sure you know the weevils just had a girl looking fly that's all over and i also saw a video where a young lady had so i got a repair i believe it was out repair my hair she had the, of also getting the um um the cap on where they go a little bit it's also a discoloration pretty so much lighter had trouble hair, obviously getting and the cap off of a lighter hair because of the way it was stuck uh, to her hair because i wasn't trying to lose my and that also was an those. alarming i can't do baby hair with for me to be like you know? so <laughs> let me check my hair now i used a weave cap so it wasn't like a cap that was uh tight tight to my hair the only part that i glued was this top section where i put the the um the piece the what was the piece i'm calling the the frontal if i could say it that way sorry i had a